Hi, I'm James Porter, and this is the video on how to divide single digit numbers with a 100 bead abacus. If you have maneuvered through the addition problems, solved all the subtraction problems, and mastered all the multiplication problems, you are in the right place. Dividing is a lot like subtracting, but a little harder than multiplying as well. So let's get started. Single digit division is very hard to do because there are only so many numbers that divide in single digits. So let's start with 9 divided by 3. So we'll form the first number like we've done in most of all of our other problems, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. And now we're just going to count out groups of 3. And this can be done in two separate ways. You can have a sheet of paper and count tallies for each group of 3s. I will do it both ways, or you can count your group of threes on the top row. So I'm going to do both ways to start out, and we're going to start. So, so I'm going to write the, my problem on the top of my sheet first of all, 9 divided by 3, and let's start. 3, there's one group, so we can move one beat over, 3, there's another group, you move another beat over, and three, there's the third group. You can move one last beat over, or keep tallies. So we have three, I made three tallies, so our answer is three, like we'd expect. Now we can clear out our, our bead, our abacus, and we can try again, another one. Let's do six divided by two. Two, four, six. Like I decided, like I said before, these numbers are so small, sometimes it's really hard and really not necessary to use an abacus, but this is a really good place to start. All right, so we've got six. I'm gonna do it both ways again. Let's write the equation on the top of our sheet of paper, six divided by two, and let's do this. Two, we can move one beat over. Another two, put a tally, can move another beat over another two, one more tally, we can move one more bead over. So, made three tallies again, three beads, so our answer must be, again, three. Let's try one more example. I'll try not to make this one equal three, two. So let's do eight divided by four. That one shouldn't equal three. Two, four, three, eight. Forming the first number again, and I'm gonna write my problem at the top of my page. So let's make groups of four now. Two, four, one beat over, make a tally. Two, four, move another beat over, make a tally. So I have two beads up top and I have made two tallies, so our answer must be two. Which it is. If you check on a calculator, these answers would all be right. Now, dividing single digit numbers is relatively easy. So I have three examples. They, t they may not take you as long as the other ones, but let's start with those. And um, I'll give you 10 seconds again to solve each of them. But if you need more, pause the video. Don't just look at the answers. Let's start with four divided by two. Your answer should be 2. Whether you used your abacus or your tallies, it doesn't matter, but it should end up being 2. Did you get it? Great job. Let's try 6 divided by 3. Your answer should again be 2. Whether you used your tallies or your abacus, it should be two. Did you get it? Well done. Let's try one more. Let's do eight divided by two. Your answer should be four. Whether you used your tallies or your abacus, it should be four. You've done a great job learning how to divide single-digit numbers with a 100-bead abacus. 
If you need more help, you can watch this video again. I know it's short, but it'd be helpful to watch again. Or if you click the examples button below, I will show you how I solved the three example problems. I'm James Porter signing off for now, but remember, a broken abacus is no one's best friend because no one can count on it.